When you were younger, not many years ago, what was the biggest challenge you saw on the continent and how far do you think we've come in addressing it? When I was very young, that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> uh, so many decades. I don't think I had uh, at the beginning the eyes to see what the problem was. I was seeing the problem, but they didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. I, could, I, I, I saw problems, I experienced problems, but um, it took some time before um, I realized that uh, these are things that uh, shouldn't be happening uh, to people including myself. Um, and as I was growing up, I also discovered that maybe something can be done about it. And uh, that it is not uh, other people to do it uh, other than ourselves. Um, a bit of history, when I was very young, um, it started when I was about four. You can imagine that four, I wasn't thinking very much about anything. I was just seeing things happen. But uh, um, that's when my family went into exile, uh, left this country. The family was fine by the standard of that time. They really didn't uh, have any problems. Um, so, but we became refugees in the neighboring country. From that time, I was four. Uh, so I grew up as a refugee. Like many, many Rwandans, I, I'm sure some of them are here, but more their parents than themselves, because most of the people here are very young, probably they were born when we came back here, or, or in those early years, just before we, we came back to the country. Um, so, but trying to condense, you know, what I have to say in a short time. As we grow up, therefore, as refugees and the suffering that comes with it and so on and so forth. But I think also the lessons that come with it. We grew up uh, experiencing things that taught us many lessons, other than going to school and here and there, we learned other things that you don't learn in school, but you learn in life just in life. Uh, so what, to the particular question, the problem I saw was, I was even asking myself, I asked my father when I was 12, uh, whom I lost when I was 15. But at 12, I asked my father, I said, what did we do? Why are we here? Uh, we in a refugee camp, feeding by way of getting ration uh, every week. He went into a long story which explained the problem, but I, I want to repeat that. But I think it was clear that it was politics, it was uh, the leaders, it was uh, in our case, it was uh, a convergence of colonial times and uh, the times of independence. And, you know, everything was just what it should not have been. So those are lessons we learned. So something was wrong. But it, it is disheartening to, to when you see that what I'm talking about then, so many years ago, in 
the 60s, some of them are happening even now. You still have people, especially young people, suffer the most, I imagine, and their mothers, and uh, you still have people suffering, and suffering because of politics, because of uh, all kinds of uh, bad governance. Uh, and um, yeah, today, why should, I, as I experienced it when I was four years, why should it be happening now anywhere? It doesn't have to be in, in this country. Why should it happen anywhere, say on our continent? That uh, we still have refugees, we still have uh, uh, tribal conflicts, we still have all kinds of uh, things, people fighting each other, than building themselves and building their countries. Uh, so it is, it, for me, it's a, a lesson learned, a lesson that also shaped some of us um, until this day. And um, for the young people here in the room, you don't have to go through that in order to be shaped the right way as uh, many, of, many young people at that time came out to be. To be. Uh, so you can learn even lessons of others, things that happen in time, in history, to other people. And also uh, put yourself in that position where you may think, oh, well, it's supposed to happen to me, or it can even happen to me. But, uh, should I do to prevent that? Or what would I do if I face that uh, to actually come through it alive and, and manage it well? But that is not just you. It becomes a, a bigger community, a bigger society that uh, we are talking about. So probably I gave you more than you asked for, but. Uh, Thank you, Let Mr. Stop President. Stop here for now. <laughs>